What's going on you guys? Golden back again and today I'm going to be showcasing the top 5 simplest redstone contraptions in Minecraft. Now these are actually cross compatible to Java Edition, all of these, so it doesn't matter if you're on Java or Bedrock, you can still build these and they should still work in the brand new 1.19 update. Now before we get into the video, I'm going to ask you guys to please go ahead and go down below, hit that subscribe button and that like button. We are about to hit a thousand on YouTube and that would just be so wonderful if we could. But I'm not going to take up any more time. Uh, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Alright, now the first build that I'm going to be showcasing in here is a very simple 2x2 redstone piston door. Now this is from the old days of Minecraft that this was actually around. So I figured it would be fairly honorable to keep it in the uh, simplest you know, redstone contraptions over time. And uh, it's, it's actually really simple. It's just a little bit of redstone down there torch, a little bit of redstone over there, and it works. The materials you're going to need are four sticky pistons, you're going to need 12 redstone dust, two redstone torches, four glass, and four stone pressure plates. Now uh, one thing I do want to mention about this build is it is, uh, you're going to need the four glass for this, uh, but you can fill in that bottom part with whatever you want. Anything glass in any of these builds is just block of choice really. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, break down by two. Uh, you need a three by two area down here. Fill it in with redstone. You're going to want to go down here too and have one block higher. Have a redstone torch on that block. You're going to do the same thing over here. Go down two with redstone. One block higher. Have a redstone torch. Then you are going to want to, uh, on top of that redstone torch, place a block that redstone can pass through, and then place a one redstone dust on that block. Now you're almost done. Only thing you need to do after that is place your two pistons on either side uh, with the blocks, and then place your uh, stone pressure plates right here at the entrance, just like so. And, uh, you know, it uh, works pretty well. It just slides, closes behind you. Uh, we got a little base here to demonstrate what you can use it for. You can also use it for any supermarket builds you have. Uh, it's a little bit boxy for, you know, if you really want a futuristic sl sliding door e uh, entrance like modern. Um, you're going to have to make it about three blocks wide if you use this redstone. But overall, for if you're a beginner with redstone and you want to you know, make your builds more lively, and uh, more different, make them stand out, this is probably going to be the perfect build for you. Alright, now on to the next build here. It's a very simple cactus farm concept. Now keep in mind, it doesn't have to be this small, and it doesn't have to be this big. So, tall-wise, this is about as small as you can shrink it down, but, um, you know, width and length-wise, you can make it as long or as short as you want. Heck, you can even make it just one cacti right here, dropping into here with one hopper. You can really minimize the materials on this build, and that's probably one of my favorite things about that. But speaking about materials, the materials you'll need for this build are one chest, three hoppers, you need three water buckets, four cacti, four sand, and three fence. Now you can use whatever variation of fence you like, and like I said with the past one, Glass blocks are blocks of choice. You can place them with whatever you really want. So uh, how this works here is we got a glass block right there that's holding up the sand, which has cactus growing on it, and we have a oak fence right next to it. So uh, what you can do uh, with this is you can just build one of these contraptions over some water and some hoppers so it drops down. And uh, let me go ahead and show you how it works. The cactus grows right here, and then the oak fence will actually break the cactus the second it grows. So we're just going to do slash game rule, random tick speed. And then let's just set it to 1,000. And now the tick speed has been set to 1,000. So give it a second right here. Yep, there goes one that just grew right there. It's a little bit glitched, but that's okay. Uh, that's just because our tick speed is simply so high. Now you see if I set it back to 100, you'll see they just regularly fall. That's how it'll work when it grows. It goes into this hopper and into this chest right here. If you really want to, you can also throw this into a furnace 
and have that furnace connect to a chest so you instead of collecting pack die you instantly collect uh green die which honestly in my opinion would be a very nice addition to this farm but like i said you can customize this however you want all right so this next build that we have right here is actually also probably the most simple honestly uh, the last one is a bit more difficult than all these but this is the most simple build and on top of that if you're building this in a legitimate survival world on bedrock or on java this will also give you an achievement for building this i'm not even joking i believe it's called smelt it all on bedrock and auto smelter on java so what this is is it's just a collection chest right here we got a hopper leading into said collection chest out of the furnace which has fuel going into it and items going into it automatically what you'll need for this is just one furnace, three hoppers, and four chests. So how this works is, let me just go ahead and go in here so I can show you. Uh, let's get some iron ore. Then let's also get some coal right here. We throw 64 charcoal in the fuel chest. It's filling up with charcoal. Then in the items chest, we throw our iron ore, and it automatically starts smelting. Now the good thing about this is once it finishes smelting, you actually won't have to grab it out of the furnace, but rather it'll appear right here in your large chest right there for collection. So in my opinion, that is uh, probably one of the easier builds on this list. Uh, it takes about two minutes to build, and uh, the materials are fairly low for it, so you could probably build it within a day of playing a survival world. Alright, now this build is a very simple sugarcane farm that isn't the most efficient, but if you want to automatically farm sugarcane and you don't want to have to build that much, this is going to be your best bet. Now, how this works is you have you know, your sugarcane growing right here with some hoppers right here, and up here when it reaches its you know fully grown level, it will set off one of these observers, which have redstone, that will set off these pistons. Now, when these pistons activate, it will... Um, break the sugar cane right there so you'll have two per stock right there so really at once the most you can produce is eight at once and as you can see it's actually gotten about 16 sugar cane and i can show you how it works right here if we just set the tick speed to 100. right here you'll see the cactus will grow oh that's a bit of a it's a bit of a showcase for the future right over there but you see it's starting to grow, it hits that, activates the pistons, and it all goes into this chest right here. Now we have 20 sugar cane. And it'll just keep on doing this for pretty much infinity. You can also make zero tick farms, but most servers have them banned. So instead of a zero tick farm, this is probably going to be your best bet. Alright, now on to the fifth and final build for this list. Uh, we have our pumpkin farm. Oh, this can also be changed out for watermelons, which is the beautiful thing with that. But this is also probably one of the hardest to build on this list. Uh, now, the materials you will need for this are... Uh, you'll need... Uh, let's see. One water bucket, but you can fill it up multiple times to fill that up. You will need four pistons, four observers, four redstone dust, four sand... For sugar cane, wait a minute, wait, wait, what, okay, something happened there, I'll just go over the materials you need right quick, you need a water bucket that will allow you to fill all of this in, uh, you're also going to need some minecart rails, uh, you're going to need some redstone powered rails with some redstone blocks underneath, two hoppers, a hopper minecart, double chest, a lot of dirt depending on how big you're going to make this and it all depends on how big you're going to make this depending on how many pistons and observers you'll need now how this works is you are going to have you're going to want an infinite loop running through here on this hopper minecart that also runs over these hoppers what that will do is whenever the pumpkins are dropped right there this hopper minecart will be able to pick the pumpkins up through the dirt and then once it does that, it collects them all. It comes right over here to these hoppers. It dispenses it into the hopper, and it fills up this chest. As you can see, we've already gotten over a stack of pumpkins and recording this and turning up the tick speed. And uh, next up, you are going to have uh, all this dirt, depending on how big you want it. And you just want a crisscross pattern, basically. 
uh, of stalks growing. And you're going to have to let the stalks fully grow, so I recommend having bone meal as well before you build the, uh, before you build the observer. And then from there, it actually gets really easy. You just place pistons facing down over the patches where the pumpkins will grow. You pay, place observers facing down over the stock because the stock block changes as that pumpkin grows. Now, like I said, this doesn't necessarily take pumpkins, uh, but you can also do melons. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you really quickly how this works. Set tick speed to 100. And then automatically it starts breaking them. And you see that little mine cart down there. It goes around, it picks all of them up, dispenses them in the chest. Very simple build there. Uh, I tried to more so explain it rather than show how it's built. Uh, just so you guys can uh, see how it's built. But uh, you can also implement your own ideas that might make this farm more efficient and better for you. And uh, yeah. I can't really think of much else to say in this tutorial. Uh, that's pretty much all I really had to say. I hope you guys did enjoy. We are about to hit 1,000, by the way, at the time of recording this. We are at 726. Now, my fellow viewer, it is your choice whether or not uh, you want to help with 100. If, or, I mean, sorry, 1,000. Uh, if you don't, that's fine. I hope you have a great day. But if you do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's free. And uh, also hit the like button, boost me in the algorithm a little bit. Anyways, hope you guys have a great day. Peace out and stay golden.